Welcome to the Nicholas Lemnix 12 technology. Today I'd like to compare the NVIDIA GTX 770 with the AMD HD 7970GHz edition graphics card. I know that's kind of unfair because the HD 7970GHz edition card is older than the GTX 770 which was released not too long ago at the time of this video. For the GTX 770, I'll be using the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 770 2GB GDDR5 card and for the HD 7970GHz edition, the Gigabyte Radeon HD 7970GHz edition 3GB GDDR5. Both cards are priced almost equally, but what about the performance? We'll find it out now by taking a look at the benchmarks. So there you have it. Both graphics cards perform very well and to be honest there's not so much of a difference noticeable. The performance varies from application to application as well as from game to game. Right now, at the time of this video, the GTX 770 performed better than the synthetic benchmarks overall, except in Cinebench where OpenGL rendering is needed. AMD cards always do better there. In games, right now, the HD 7970GHz edition however, in most cases still beats the GTX 770. But again, there's not so much of a difference here. The GTX 770 ran at higher temperatures, but actually you can't say it runs hotter, because the fan speed was a lot lower and therefore the card itself was very quiet. I personally didn't notice the GTX 770 when it comes down to the noise. The HD 7970GHz edition definitely was noticeable with its 50% fan speed. Keep in mind though, you can easily control the fan speeds manually on both of the cards. Power consumption wise there's pretty much no difference. On idle the GTX 770 consumes a little less and on full load a little bit more and I'm talking of 5 watts here. When it comes to overclocking, the GTX 770 pretty much can't be overclocked any higher than it already is factory overclocked by Gigabyte. Although Gigabyte also factory overclocked the HD 7970GHz edition, you will still be able to squeeze out more of that card by overclocking it even more. Video Memory Well, the GTX 770 has 2 gigabytes of it and the HD 7970GHz edition has 3 gigabytes of it. When playing at the 1920 by 1080 screen resolution, 2GB is enough. But when you have multiple monitors hooked up to your graphics card, the 3GB on the HD 7970GHz edition will be a great benefit. 
Long story short, the HD 7970GHz edition offers a little more performance overall, overclocks higher and has more video memory. The GTX 770 offers a little bit less performance than the HD 7970GHz edition but runs very silent even on full load. Then again, the GTX 770 is more modern and comes with Gigabyte's new Windforce Revision 2.0 cooler. So yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to say here and I really hope this video could help you with your decision in case you were unsure about which of these two cards to get. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11xfilesecx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.